Hello guys and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Uh, in this video I would like to present you with two different methods to cool down your oxygen for your base. For that I've already created two little setups here. Um, I'm just gonna give you a short overview first. Um, we have a oxygen room. Let's say that's your oxygen production plant, so to say. You have uh, oxygen at a high temperature of 60 degrees almost. And from that you are going to try to cool down the oxygen uh, and basically fill that into your base. So let's switch to the gas pipes overlay. As you can see the right two gas pumps feed the first build here. We are basically feeding the hot oxygen into a th single thermoregulator and then further on into this gas reservoir and then we have two uh, gas shutoffs with a little automation. What and what they are basically doing is uh, whenever a certain temperature is detected by this gas pipe thermal sensor, uh, these shutoffs will decide uh, in which direction the gas actually flows. If it's cold enough, it is released through this gas vent, and if it's not cool uh, cool enough, it's going to be fed back to the thermal regulator and into the gas reservoir until it's cooled down. So we have some something like an automatic sorter. If the uh, gas is cold enough, we will emit it. Otherwise, we will feed it back into the loop. So, and let's explain the automation for that. You will need a gas reservoir because um, this one will work for two reasons or will have two benefits to this loop. First, it's a little buffer, so um, you don't have any gases backing up into the pipes and the system is not op operating anymore. And the second is that the second reason is that it's gonna evenly or even out uh, the temperature in in your loop a bit more. So let's see what happens here. The uh, thermal regulator is feeding the gas at 46 degrees into this gas reservoir because the gas pipe thermal sensor detects it to be higher than uh, 20 degrees it will send it down here and back and forth into this cooling loop until finally the temperature is low enough to yeah, let it go through this other uh, gas shutoff and finally emit it into your base. So that's a pretty... yeah. Actually it's it's not that easy to prefer or to create that it needs a bit of automation and testing with the temperatures and the second reason why you shouldn't actually use some kind of uh, these builds is that the thermal regulator is not very efficient at cooling down gases. Actually the aqua tuner is a lot better as I've already shown in a different uh, video. So maybe this build is good enough in case you uh, are early into the game and don't have access to aqua tuner and yeah, some steel material for instance. Uh, you only have access in mid game so keep that in mind for early game but not so much for mid game then i'm gonna show you the mid game version of that again um, we are feeding the hot oxygen 60 degrees inside here through these two pumps to this cooling uh, loop inside here as you can see you don't actually need to make it that big but it's for the purpose of showing it um, we're gonna switch to radiant pipes in that room so the oxygen will take the heat or the cooling from this um, room and basically cool down until it is gonna be emitted at 18 degrees in, the, in that case. And what we are basically doing, we are cooling down the water in this room. Uh, with the double aqua tuner setup, you don't need to have two aqua tuners, you don't also need uh, super coolant you can do it with for instance polluted water um, this cooling loop is cooling down this room uh, until a certain level is reached I've set up a little automation for that as you can see here I have a thermal sensor close to the exit of the gases and just set it to 20 de degrees because that's gonna be the targeted temperature and what it does the aqua tuner will run until the room has reached a certain temperature and yeah, run every time the hotter gas has warmed it up enough so that the aqua tuners will start again. 
And as you can see, we leave this constantly running. It's providing 18 degrees of oxygen. Also for this, you need to play a little with the automation. As you can see, I've set it up to 20 degrees, but as you can see, the aqua tuners are feeding very cold and super coolant inside, inside here, and they run a bit after. Uh, so they provide additional cooling, so you could basically set this to 22 degrees to actually reach 20 degrees at the output. And that's also a very stable build, this will run endlessly, and yeah, basically as long as you feed energy or power to the system and therefore provide cool oxygen for your base. So if you have any further questions, please let me know in the questions below. In the comment section below or if you have any more efficient builds please suggest them also there and yeah get in touch with me thanks for watching and goodbye